being your best with Trey Johnson. Changing the world, one thought at a time. We're going to talk about developing a maximum results mindset to be able to reach the highest level attainable. But I want to share with you here at the beginning what the Lord started speaking to me, and I'll be dissecting this, and you can go back on our YouTube channel and stuff and, uh, or watch the shows coming up, and I'll be starting to dissect some of this. But at the end of October, 1st of November, before I even knew what Dr. Savell was teaching on, or Brother Copeland, um, Pastor Justin, it's always fun to see how the Holy Spirit connects what he's saying to his people. And he said, there will be momentum and extraordinary manifestations of God's goodness that will take place. It will take place in families and finances and in bodies and in industries. We will see the fulfillment of promises made in years past. Restoration will continue to carry us into God's presence and promises like never before. There will be heaps and waves of his glory and power. There'll be recreative miracles that are carried in these waves. So keep moving, keep declaring, keep receiving, keep believing, because your finest hour as the church has just begun. You've seen things in the past that were miraculous, but that's just the beginning. So rejoice, because your redemption draws near. Completion to seasons, completions of projects, completions in loose areas will take place. My hand has been moving things, adjusting things, even when it doesn't look like it. Greater glory is coming. Greater manifestations are coming. So look, expect, anticipate like they are right around the corner. And the Lord said there is a, a great boldness being released in the body of Christ. Because it takes boldness for us to walk in our inheritance. It takes boldness to take our place of dominion and authority. It takes boldness to get maximum results, the highest level attainable. Say it, boldness. boldness. Proverbs 28, 1 says, the righteous are as bold as a lion. Say it, boldness. 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 Now, Paul writes to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. It says, this charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. In the Amplified, it says, so that inspired and aided by them, you may wage the good warfare. So my assignment this year, I keep hearing the Lord say, make winners and warriors everywhere you go. So I'm going to teach from a place of the way God sees you and I. That we are winners. And we are warriors. Say it. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. And I'm a, I'm a warrior. Now some of the meanings of the number 23 represents change, progress, innovation, signifies new beginnings, revolution, transformation, signifies spiritual growth, angelic help, cooperation with God. What God told Dr. Savell, maximum results, the highest level attainable. But in order for us to walk in maximum results, the highest level attainable, it's going to take the right mindset. If, if you're taking notes, I want us to think about the way that we've been thinking. Now, now let's dial in and for the next few minutes, let's give it our best. Okay? So... Our mindset. How, how is my mindset when it comes to my calling? How is my mindset when it comes to my relationship with God? How is my mindset when it comes to possessing the promises? How is my mindset to recapture the awe and majesty of Almighty God? Because see, there can, there can be two different people hearing the same information and one gets results and one doesn't. There can be one person that overcomes and one person doesn't. Same environment, same information, same word, but transformation doesn't come by information alone. Transformation comes by application. You see it all throughout the Word of God. Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27, 
He says the, the wise person hears God's word and does something with the word. But the unwise person, the foolish person, they hear God's word and don't do anything with God's word. I can be in the environment where God is saying, I want you to have maximum results, the highest level attainable, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's just going to happen. You have the 12 disciples. You have 11 of them went on and fulfilled their destiny, and one of them committed suicide. Why? Because of mindset. Pastor mentioned in Numbers chapter 13 and 14 on Sunday, two of them had the mindset that we are well able to go in and possess the land, and 10 had a mindset that we are not well able. And because of their perception, because of their view, because of the way they saw God, the way they saw themselves, the way they saw the giant, their mindset, they did not go in. Your mindset will determine whether we walk in our destiny or whether we don't. Our mindset will determine whether we walk in maximum results or whether we don't. How is my mindset? Listen to some of the definition of mindset. Mindset is how you see yourself, your situation, how you see your life. It determines how you see God. I, I heard Pastor Annette last week when, on Wednesday night when they were teaching and she said it's very important that we take it from our head to our heart. In order to have a mindset change, we've got to have a heart set change. Take it from rules to relationship. See, how do we see God? That's determined by our mindset. Some more definitions. It's a set of the mind. A lens in which you view life. It is the established set of attitudes a mental attitude that determines a person's response and interpretation of a situation, a person's way of thinking. How is your mindset? Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. It says, And set your mind and keep them set on what is above the higher things, not on things that are on the earth. Maximum results. The highest level attainable. Do I have a maximum results mindset? Am I in the process of having a maximum results mindset? Set your mind. The word set is the same word for concrete. You know, we were, uh, Chloe and Robert and I, we were gathering some steers out of the pasture the other day. And this one's 500-pound steer runs into this, this H brace, the corner post. And you know what? It did not move a lick. <laughs> Why? Because it was set. There's going to be tension on your mind, but when your mind is set, no amount of tension is going to move you. When our mind is set on maximum results, our mind is set on the glory of God, our mind is set on the promises of God, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Why? Because our mind is set. How is my mind set? When I set it on maximum results, I'm going to position myself for maximum results. But if I don't set, if it's just in the sand, if it's wobbling, if it's not secure, if it's not set, I will wobble, I will waver, and I will eventually break. But if my mind is is set, I will settle for nothing less than God's best, all for the glory of God. Maximum results takes a maximum results mindset. A person's attitude, a person's perception, your attitude is an outward expression of an inward feeling. See, our attitude is expressed and it's determined by the way that we think because when I'm thinking right, I'm going to have an attitude that backs it up. When I'm thinking like I, I, I have maximum results because of what Jesus has done. I have maximum results because it's God's will for my life. I will walk in maximum results. I will overcome. It's a different mindset that I'm just going to go to church on the way to lunch or on the way to dinner. I'm going to go to church just to check off the box. But when I have the mindset of a warrior and I have the mindset of a winner, I'm showing up and I'm expecting to hear from my father and I'm expecting to receive my assignment and I'm expecting to be equipped and I'm expecting to be sharpened that when we walk out of these doors, we are going somewhere to make life happen all for the glory of God. Amen. Maximum results mindset empowers us to attain the highest level. 
I know you're getting a lot out of the teaching, but I want to encourage you to go to the website, TreyJohnsonMinistries.com, and order your copy of this teaching today. You know, each and every one of us, it takes several times of us hearing something for it to become a revelation to us. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing the Word of God. You know, I know that you're sharp. I know that you're intelligent. And I know God spoke to you about a lot of different things during this teaching. But order the product. While you're there, don't forget I have several books that I've written. You can order a copy of the magazine there. You can sign up for leadership development. I do every Wednesday morning. If you can't be on, you can listen to the recording. You know, I'm an executive director for the John Maxwell organization. And so I do leadership teachings all around the country. And it's something that I believe will add value to your life. If you're hungry about growth, if you're wanting to lift your thinking, lift your believing, if you're wanting to develop in your business, in your ministry, just in life as a housewife, as a husband, whatever it is, God has greater things in store for you. And it takes the right people speaking into our life to help us discover everything we're called and created to do. And while you're there, don't forget to pray about becoming a partner with the ministry. You know, Heather and I are traveling around the country. The show is going around the world. And every person that's saved, healed, delivered, you're a part of that. It takes partners just like you to get in connection with us, to believe God with us, and for us to take new territories for the kingdom of God. TreyJohnsonMinistries.com, and we would enjoy hearing from you. Say it, maximum results. <laughs> Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 says, For my determined purpose is that I may know Him, that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with Him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of His person more strongly and more clearly, and that I may in that same way come to know the power outflowing from His resurrection which exerts over believers and that I may so share his suffering as to be continually transformed in spirit into his likeness, even to his death. Paul had a maximum results mindset. Reaching for the highest level attainable. He says, my determined purpose is that I may know him. See, this becomes real to you and I when we take ownership of our relationship with God, when we allow the real us to make that quality decision that I am determined. If God promised it, that settles it, I'm going to have it. I'm determined. My determined purpose is I'm going to know Him. My determined purpose is I'm going to know His heart. If anybody's going to know God, it's going to be me. Say it, it's going to be me. When we step back and we draw the line and we set our mind, if anybody's going to know His majesty, it's going to be me. If anybody's going to know His goodness, it's going to be me. If anybody's going to walk in His favor, it is going to be me. But it takes a mind set upon the promises of God. Maximum results mindset positions us to reach the highest levels attainable. What's our mindset to our relationship with God. What's your mindset when you come to first things first in the morning? What's your mindset when it comes to our family and our marriage and our businesses and our calling? A maximum results mindset. You know you deserve maximum results? That's right. Amen. That's Not because of what we've done, but because of what He's done. God thinks you deserve it. So much so that He's shed the blood of His Son, Jesus. Amen. And He made you worthy. Amen. He made you worthy of your dream. He made you worthy of your calling. He made you worthy of the promise. Our Heavenly Father is the one who's saying, I want you to have maximum results. I want you to reach for the highest level attainable. But it's going to take the right mindset. See, maybe, maybe when we think about how we have thought in the past, maybe when pressure came on, Maybe we kind of, we broke down instead of broke through. 
Maybe in the past we let words come out of our mouth that we weren't in alignment with God's promises. Maybe we had a negative attitude. Maybe we were a complainer, a griper. Maybe we were rebellious. But you know what the good thing is? We can change. Yesterday's gone. Today's a new day. And the Spirit of God is saying, come on, let's get it. Come on, let's go get it. Come on, church, let's go get it. Let's go get what God has already given to you and I. Look at your neighbors and say, go get it. Look at your other neighbor and say, go get it. Now, now think about the process of change. How do I change my mindset? One, one day at a time. Say it one day at a time. See, people change when things get so bad, they have to change. People change when they start learning enough right information that they desire to change. When we realize we don't have to stay addicted, we can be free. We don't have to stay sick, we are healed. When we realize we can, we can operate in maximum results. We can know God more. We can operate more dominion and authority. We can go up. We can reach for the highest level attainable. We can. Say it, we can. We can. can. That's a mindset. That's a mindset. Say it. Let's go get it. Look at your neighbor and say, go get it. Romans chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. It says, No unbelief or distrust made him waver, doubtingly questioned concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong and was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God, fully satisfied and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word and to do what he had promised. Now notice this again in the Amplified. No unbelief or distrust made him waver, doubtingly questioning concerning the promise of God. Why? Because he had his mind set. Like that concrete around that pole, his mind was set on what God had promised him. And he says concerning the promise of God, and as he set his mind, he grew strong. And was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. See, a a maximum results mindset is a mindset that praises and worships and honors. And it stays focused on the author and finisher of our faith who is Jesus. The one who promised us maximum results. He's the one who's challenging us. The one who is encouraging us to be warriors and winners. And to reach for the highest level attainable. And he says he gave praise and glory to God, fully satisfied and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word and to do what he had promised. See, the right mindset determines our outcome. A warrior's mindset determines a warrior's outcome. A winner's mindset determines a winner's outcome. A maximum results mindset determines the body of Christ's outcome. Mindset positions us to receive what God has promised. Say it, mindset. Mindset. Maximum results, the highest level attainable. 2 Chronicles 20, 20. Now, Now, what is God speaking to us as a body? Now, I know he's saying a lot, but he's saying, I want you to walk in maximum results, the highest level attainable. Say, that's me. Amen. Second Chronicles 20, 20. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe and remain steadfast to his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Do you believe in the Lord your God? Yes. He says, and you will be established. Believe and remain steadfast to his prophets and you shall prosper. See, it is a choice and a decision to believe that our men and women of God are hearing directly from the throne room of God. But it's when we say, that's God, say it, that's God. And we take ownership of it and we set our mind on it, our mind set, we concrete, that is mine, that's God speaking to me. Jesus died to give that to me, say it to me. And if anybody's going to have it, walk in it, it's going to be me. Say it, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. See, a person can be very gifted, and every one of us are. 
A person can have a, a, a very powerful call upon your life, and each one of us do. But if a person doesn't have the right mindset, the gifting and call will never be released. Romans eleven twenty nine. Listen to this and amplify. For God's gift and His call are irrevocable. So His gift, His call, He never withdraws them when once they are giving, and He does not change His mind about those to whom He gives His grace or to whom He sends His call. Say it, God does not change His mind. So it's his gift, his grace, his call. And he says, now once I place it in you and on you, I don't change my mind. But in order for it to be released and become a reality, we do have to change our mind. He doesn't change his mind, but we must change our mind. He doesn't change his mind, but I've got to change my mind. I can be called, I can be gifted, I can be graced, but it'll never manifest to the world the way God designed it until my mindset changes. And God is saying, I want you to walk in maximum results. I want you to reach for the highest level attainable, but it's going to take a changing of the mind. Can you see yourself reaching for the highest level? Can you see yourself walking in the highest level? Can you see yourself walking in the power and authority and glory of Almighty God? Can you see yourself in those waves of God's goodness and His presence? Yes. Reaching for the highest level. The mindset, maximum results mindset. How is our mindset? Romans 12, 2. Very familiar scripture. Do not be conformed to this world, this age fashioned after, adapted to its external superficial custom, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideas and its new attitude. Notice he says, as we... As we renew our mind, as we're in God's word, he gives us the thoughts and the ideas to take us up. He isn't going to tell us to reach for maximum results, the highest level attainable, and not equip us and not give us what we need to walk in it. We already have everything we need that pertains to life and godliness. So his new idea brings a new way of living. His new thought about maximum results brings a new attitude. Remember, attitude is an outward expression of an inward feeling. Well, if I don't feel like I have maximum results, I don't feel like being nice and kind. I don't feel like having a good attitude. Change your thinking and it'll change how you feel. A new ideal produces a new attitude. And you have it on the inside of you to be to have an attitude of a warrior. You have it on the inside of you to have the attitude of a winner. You have it on the inside of you to to think like an overcomer, to think like a champion. You have the ability to have a maximum results mindset set it on things above and not on things beneath. A maximum results mindset. It's time for us to go get it. Say it. Let's go get it. Hmm. First Timothy chapter six, verse 12. Says fight. The good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold on maximum results. Lay hold on what God has promised. Fight the good fight of faith. It is time for the body of Christ to fight from a standpoint of victory instead of trying not to lose. It's a different mindset. when You know, I compete professionally. So it's a different mindset when you're trying not to lose compared to competing to win. As children of Almighty God, we have tried to survive. We have tried not to lose instead of fighting to win. Instead of when our feet hit the floor in the morning, we think win. We believe win. We talk win. We are going for the maximum results, and we're not backing off. We're fighting the good fight of faith, and we're laying hold of eternal life. Live to win, not trying not to lose. 
maximum results, reaching for the highest level attainable, worship like we win, praise like we win, give like we win, forgive like we win. Why? Because we have already won. Yeah, you might have been in some fights and you felt like you had the crud kicked out of you. You might have lost a round. You might have lost a battle. But we have a promise from our Heavenly Father that if we do not quit, we will win. Win. We have what it takes, but we got to go get it. Say, we got to go get it. Look at your neighbors. Say, we got to go get it. Come on, church. We got to go get it. But it's got to take the right mindset. How do we need to show up each and every day? How does our thinking need to be each and every day? What do our words look like each and every day? A winning mindset, an elite mindset, a warrior mindset is different than just a churchgoer. That's not you. This house is not just a bunch of churchgoers. We are the church. We are the body of Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. Not the body of crisis. <laughs> the body of Christ. Maximum results. The highest level attainable. Third John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health just as your soul prospers. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Just as our soul prospers. Maximum result mindset positions us to reach for the highest level Attainable. There are all, all types of studies out there that prove the difference between a, a person with a fixed mindset and a person with a growth mindset. In studies, they track people and people that make a difference, people that live in victory, people that overcome, like you and I, say that's me. That's me. They have a growth mindset. They don't have a fixed mindset. See, a fixed mindset has the idea that, okay, this is my lot in life, and this is just how things have to be, and this just must be, you know, this, this, this is, is what it is. If I have this talent, I'll succeed. If I don't have talent, I won't succeed. And the sad thing is, most of the body of Christ has that mentality. That if it's God's will, then it will just happen, and if it's not God's will, then... That's why it's important to spend time in this Word, to know His will... Father, we're going for the greater. We're going for your best. We're going for not just your, your good will or acceptable will. We're going for the perfect will of God. We're all in. Father, we're setting our mind on things above and not on things beneath. Now, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you recall these truths to our mind. Recall them as we're in the middle of the process, that we're going to stay focused on you. We're going to keep just capturing your awe and your majesty and your goodness. And we're just going to give you glory and honor everywhere we go. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.